Now we finally received the second part of the unfinished ESF update. This time it's more weapons and items, also a few fixes and balances. In this video I'm gonna focus more on the weapons. So let's start with Vanu Empire specific nose gun. Its name Antares LC. But I must point out the fact that all these weapons, all these new ESF weapons are made from the same old default nose gun weapon template. So fuck original ideas yet again. Anyways, as I said before, Antares is basically a copy of Sauron. It has the same damage model, reload, but the accuracy is taken from rotary. The difference between Sauron and Antares is the fact that Antares shoots slower and also its muzzle velocity is slower. But clip is by 40 bullets larger, which is more than 50%. In the background you can see the test between Sauron, Antares and Hellstorm trying to kill Galaxy. And surprisingly enough, Antares kills Galaxy first, then Sauron and Hellstorm kill the Galaxy at the same time. Keep in mind, I didn't use any upgrades. Also, in real combat I realized that it won't be that easy to hit every bullet in the enemy. But the fact that Antares has a lot more bullets, it means it will be more efficient against bigger targets like Liberators and Galaxies. The thing with these new ESF weapons is that they have two utility upgrades you can choose from, either bigger clip or faster reload, and I strongly suggest you to take the second option, because 10 or 15 extra bullets is nothing. As for Terran Republic, it's the same song. Exactly the same stats have been changed, only in minor variations. While their default nose cannon Needler has 70 bullets in its clip, the new Locust cannon has 150 in its clip. That's a bit more than twice as much. While the bullet speed and accuracy is the same as rotary, but the fire rate is the slowest. Also, Locust has the longest reload, 3 seconds, while Needler has 2.5 seconds. And in the Galaxy test, obviously the new weapon comes in the first, then the Rotary, and finally the Needler. And the last but not least we have Kestrel, the copy of Mustang. Of course it has the slowest fire rate, the same damage model and reload as Mustang, while accuracy and bullet speed is the same from Rotary. But magazine on this weapon holds 95 bullets, which is 45 bullets more than Mustang, or approximately 80%. And of course, as predicted in Galaxy Test, the new weapon takes the first place. There are also two new wing-mounted weapons, and the first one is Hornet's missiles, or you can call them mounted AV turrets, because the missiles you shoot from this weapon will follow your cursor. I predict that this weapon will be good at making aerial runs or long-range sniping. But of course, remember, if you are hovering, it will be easier to take you down. By direct hit, this weapon deals 1500 points of damage, but indirectly, maximum damage you can deal is 550, so you need two rockets to kill infantry unit for sure, not counting that you hit it directly. And the last weapon on the list is Coyote Missiles. Overall, this weapon deals a small amount of damage by every rocket, and it only has six rockets in its clip. But this weapon is unique because it shoots heat sinking missiles, which means that these rockets will lock on to any aircraft which will fly close to the rocket you shoot. Although this weapon is unique, I don't predict it to be a big problem in future, because of its small damage. But because this weapon can be shot at will at anything, I predict this weapon to be quite universal, and therefore it might find itself to be useful for something else. Also for the CSF update, developers have introduced a new utility item called Engagement Radar. Consider it to be Auto Spotter for aircrafts, which will spot enemy aircrafts in certain distance away from you. Also with this update, air-to-air -air lock on missiles will require constant lock on enemy target for them to reach its destination. But lock on time is reduced to 2 seconds, but stock afterburners receive the nerf, which makes them 1 second slower to recharge to full. And speaking of afterburner, external fuel tanks receive certification line, which allows you to upgrade those fuel tanks by increasing capacity and the rate you replenish your fuel. But in case you have equipped your ESF with scout radar, now you will start receiving experience for detected enemies. And as a last notable thing, ESF fire suppression has received buff. So overall guys, I hope you enjoyed the information I shared with you, and I'll see your half-retarded ass in the skies of Araxis.